Hello, best friend, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, so if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me, grab a snack, grab a drink, hit that subscribe button, I would be very grateful, you guys. Um, listen, happy Monday. I hope that this week starts off amazing. And listen, if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, bitch, it's okay, girl. There's always tomorrow, okay? Don't beat yourself up. Don't be so hard on yourself. You can always start again. Everyone always puts so much pressure on the beginning of the week and New Year's and Christmas and birthdays. No, bitch, stop putting pressure on yourself, girl. There's always Tuesday, okay? There's always January 1st, boo. You got this, all right? Anyways, listen, we gotta talk because I don't know if you guys watched my previous video of Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods reuniting. So listen, we have to talk about this because quick, like, recap. Jordan Woods and Kylie Jenner were together for as best friends since they were, like, kids. Jordan Woods and Kylie Jenner literally were best friends. She hung out with Jordan Woods. Jordan Woods practically lived with her. She was with her throughout her first pregnancy. Their best friends bonded everything. Flashback to 2019, uh, Jordan Woods and Tristan, Chloe's then boyfriend slash baby daddy, kissed at a party. It went public. The Kardashians totally banned Jordan Woods from everything. Jordan Woods' career went down to shit. The whole world turned on Jordan Woods. And she did an interview stating that, you know, she was even receiving death threats, like a bunch of things. Jordan Woods went away a little bit and she came back stronger and bigger than ever. The world re-allowed her in. She is now a huge, like, you know, social media person slash model. Um, she gets the, you know, huge endorsements. She's been living amazing. The glow up has been real. Lately, the Kardashians have been Team Tristan a lot for the past like year, year and a half, two years after he cheated on Chloe many other times and even had a baby with another person, okay? He has been just honestly horrible to Chloe, okay? Well, flash forward to like now, Kim Kardashian is going to his games, you know, all of these, the family supporting him, you know, he's he's been allowed back in, everyone loves him, blah, blah, blah. Everyone loves him more than Chloe, right? He's moving next door to Chloe, this whole thing, right? Well, last night or the day before, Kylie and Jordan reunited. So that's kind of like the 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 with the catch up on if you have not watched my other video, but there's a lot more tea and pictures in the other, so you can go go check that out. But that's kind of like the recap. But now you guys, people are talking about how Kylie betrayed the Kardashians. So listen, let's talk about this, okay? Because Kylie Jenner is like getting really criticized saying you chose a friend over your sister, which is Khloe Kardashian. Like, what the fuck is that? And I have a lot to say about this because I'm just like, girl, I, you know how sometimes like you you watch something happen or you're watching like a movie or a TV show and like the one person is, is lying to the other person and, and you know that that person is lying because they just showed the scene before that he did cheat on her, but then he's telling her girlfriend that they did he didn't cheat and the girlfriend's like, oh, okay, I believe you. And you're screaming at the TV and you're really mad. That's how I feel about this bitch. I'm just like, girl, what in the crazy? The Kardashians, especially Chris and and Kim, have supported Tristan so much lately, going to his games with fucking signs, okay? This is the man that literally had another baby with an, another woman while Chloe was pregnant, also cheated on Chloe when she was pregnant with her first child. I mean, she wasn't pregnant, sorry, the, the surrogate was pregnant, but they were waiting for their baby. So yes, yeah, she was pregnant. I'm just like, girl, what is not mathing? You know, the math ain't mathing. Unfortunately, Tristan did lose his mom, which is very, very sad. The Kardashians were there to pick him up. In the in the preview of the next uh, episode, you can see that Tristan comes into the home with the baby and, you know, they're all nice to him and stuff. And I'm just like, I'm over here like, how are you guys like welcoming this man like you have to be some good ass like christians bitch you have to be mother Teresa to do that honey because i would not be able as 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 chloe's sister i would not be able to be with someone who has done so wrong my sister well kylie jenner 
She's like, well, if this, if, if they're throwing literal parades for this man and going to supper, how come I can't be friends with Jordan? You know what I mean? Because it takes two to tango. And how come, you guys, now that I'm going off, how come it's always the girl getting all the fucking flack and the, and the, and the guy always like, you know, being the innocent one and the girls being the one being called the whore, the girls being called the homewrecker. Literally, Chloe tweeted out saying, you ruined our home. You broke our family or something like that. And I'm just like, wait, no, Tristan did. Both of them did, but Tristan more because he's the one in the damn relationship, right? So, anywho, um, what you call it? Tristan and 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 Chloe are friends. Everyone is friends. So I guess Kylie also was like, "Girl, well, I'm gonna be friends with Jordan too." Now, there's rumors that they have actually been friends on the DL, that they have been hanging out, that they have been seeing each other. You have to understand the bond that Kylie and uh, Jordan had for many, many, many years is, is, is like best friends. Sorry, my dog is drinking water. Best friends, sisters, literal soulmates. That's what Kylie used to call Jordan. And I just feel in my heart that, you know, Tristan came out of all of this with like, you know, a parade, literally Kim Kardashian making a fool out of herself at his basketball game with a sign that says Tristan. I would never be able to do that to my sister. It is, honestly, it's like disrespectful to Chloe. So Kylie Jenner getting called out for being friends with Jordan is nothing, honey. I feel honestly at this point in time, if, if they're doing a welcome red carpet to Tristan, then they need, then, then Kylie has every single right to be friends with Jordan. What Jordan and Tristan did was wrong. It was wrong, okay? It was no threesome. It was not, Chloe was not present. They were there at a party. They were drunk. It happened, okay. But the, the wrath that Jordan Woods got from the Kardashians and the whole world was disgusting. Looking back at it, everyone was calling her horrible names. She, Her sister had to be taken out of school. They had to get extra security. Her career was totally over. She was losing brand deals. Nobody wanted to work with her. She was a pariah in Hollywood. And Tristan came out of it, cheated multiple other times and came out of it like best friends with the family. So I'm so sorry, you guys. I feel like hopefully Jordan, you know, made amends with, with Kylie, made amends with Chloe, you know, took ownership of her part. But, I, but you know what? Kylie decided to give her a second chance. I don't think that's Kylie going against the family. I don't think that's Kylie doing anything against the family. I think that if the family is welcoming back the, the multiple time cheater, then, you know, that's Kylie's problem. Now, what I am curious to know is what happened between Kylie and Chloe? Because there had been a little bit rumors that Chloe and Kylie have not seen eye to eye on a couple of things. And could this be the reason why Kylie went back to Jordan? And what does Chloe feel about this? Now I'm gonna tell you guys some of the Kardashians, girl, they're smart. They know that the ratings are going down, honey. So this, this is going to be so big next season. Everyone is gonna be tuning in because we're probably gonna have a sit down with Kylie and Jordan. You know, the first time seeing each other after so many years, we're probably gonna have a Chloe, Chris, Kim sit down with Jordan, maybe even with Tristan. The Kardashians will go to many lengths to get their show up. And girl, I will be tuning in, honey. Um, I think forgiveness is key. I think that, you know, humans are made to make mistakes. But I think that if you really are, ups uh, if you really take accountability and you're deeply sorry and understand why you're saying sorry, I do believe that you should be given a second opportunity, but that's up to the person. That's up to the people you hurt, right? That's not up to the world or the public. That's up to the people you hurt. And that's also up to you. Can you can you forgive yourself? Can you take accountability? So anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. And girl, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.